Okay, before we begin, answer this. Why did the email go to therapy? Because it had too many attachment issues. <laughs> okay, let's start the tutorial. Today I'll show you the easiest free method to add different types of email subscription forms on your website to collect emails. Then I'll show you how to send regular emails to these people, how to send discount codes, and how to track your email performance with data like this. My name is Rohan Julian Francis. Welcome to our channel and let's begin. Now, the three most popular plugins to create email forms are Sumo, MailChimp and WP Forms. Let's quickly discuss the pros and cons of each. Now, the biggest pro of MailChimp is its clean user interface and how easy it is to use. The biggest con here is the pricing. MailChimp also charges you for duplicate, unsubscribed or inactive emails if you're not careful with your list. Next, WP Forms is famous for making very beautiful email forms. It is very easy for beginners and you can create unlimited email forms in it. The con is that the free version has very limited features and WP Forms has the most expensive plugin form. The reason I've picked Sumo for this tutorial is because it's the best free option for us. I can create an unlimited number of email forms, send 10,000 emails per month and choose how my email form will look and more. And the only con here is poor customer service and some display issues sometimes. So now that we're clear that we'll be using Sumo, let's start the process of adding the email subscription form and its other features. The first step before we add any new features to our site is to check our website speed. Otherwise, we add a whole bunch of things that won't load properly later and mess up everything else. Most people don't even realize that some of their pages aren't loading properly for their customers. So let's just take a moment. Let's go and open a new tab and type Google PageSpeed. Then let's go and click on PageSpeed Insights. So here we need to paste our website URL and then it will tell us our website speed. So let's go back to our site, copy the URL, come back and paste it here and then click Analyze. Now you can see that the site score is quite low because a decent score generally looks like this. It's in the 90s and the other numbers are also green, not red. This low speed score happens because our site slows down as we add more content, plugins and other things to it. Now, if you've gotten a good score like this, you can skip to the next chapter. But if you've got a score less than 90, then we need to first fix this before adding any new features to our site. Don't worry, it will take just a few seconds. You can go to the description and click on the link. And that should take you to this website. This is 100% free. You'll also see my face here because we've built this so you can trust that it actually works. Just click sign up here, add your email, now paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin by clicking here and you can see that a zip file has downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new, then drag and drop this folder. Then install the plugin and activate it. Now your site is automatically being optimized and here you should see a big jump in speed. If you go back to PageSpeed Insights and analyze this again, you'll now see the improved score is above 90 and LF will keep your site fast even if you add more elements. All right, now let's head to the Sumo website and then click on the WordPress plugin. This option will take you to the site plugin where you will connect your WordPress account to Sumo. So click on sign up option and create your free Sumo account. Then go back to your WordPress admin dashboard, click on plugins, then add new, search for the Sumo plugin, install it, then activate it. All right, now it's time to connect your website to your Sumo account. So scroll down to Sumo and then select settings and you will be redirected to the connect page. Then go and click here, then add the email ID and password and it will be connected. Now let's add the email subscription form to your website. So click here and go to Sumo's dashboard. Then click on create forms and on the left side, you will find various options to customize your form. Click on my goal and you have four options. You can collect emails, add a call to action, get social shares, or create your custom HTML code to collect the emails. So I'll select collect emails. Next, let's choose a form type. You can pick a pop-up, which will appear to visitors like this, or a scroll box at the end of a web page for people to sign up, or an inline form, 
where the form has content related to the web page or a click trigger pop-up where you can set a trigger after a click or a welcome mat which means a whole page like this will appear when visitors are on your site or lastly a smart bar like this where the email form is placed at the top of the page so for now i'll select pop-up next we can move on to the design template so if you click here there are many free templates to choose from after that you can choose the smart mode and it automatically picks a good time to show the form or manual mode so that you can choose the time for yourself the next option is success where you can decide what email your subscribers will get after adding their email in this form so in the automatic email responder you can customize your message like this you can also add a custom file here so that the subscribers can download this after they register or you can provide them with a custom URL that will redirect them to your website. There's also an option to choose how long the pop-up will stay on your website. By the way, we do about 4-5 videos a week around WordPress and if you're liking this video, I'm sure you like the other ones too. So just hit subscribe and let's build better websites together. Now you can also show a discount code to subscribers like this. So to do this, let's go to our Sumo dashboard and there you will find options like forms, email, monetize, etc. So click on monetize. Two options will appear on the screen, which are discount and shortcuts. Click on the discount options, then click on create discount. Now a pop-up will appear where you will put the name of the discount campaign and the number of discounts to generate. The discount prefix. So once we have filled this in, let's click on save. Now it's time to use the code in our email campaign. So to do that, go back to the Sumo dashboard and among the options, choose forms. Now among all the email campaigns we have running, choose the one where you want to put the discount code. So click on the email form and it will lead you to a page where you've customized your email. There you can see two options, subscribe and success. So click on success and you will see the success bar with the words, you are now subscribed. Select the blue bar with success and choose the delete option above it. Once you've deleted that, click on add new and scroll down to the discount code. Select that and there will be a blue bar with a discount code written on it. So the hard part is done now. Now it's time to place the discount code in the bar. So to do that, go left and here click on design. And as you scroll down, you'll see the option for assign discount. So click here and a pop-up showcasing your discount code will appear. So click on your recently created discount option and then press select. Go back to the visibility option and click on manual mode. Click on the email form where you want to place the discount code and click on insert discount. Add the discount code in the given bracket. Then scroll down, click on save email. And once you're done, you will be back on the success page. So click on update here and voila, your discount code is live now. Now let's see how your discount code is actually working. So let's go to our WordPress site and we can see that the pop-up appears here. Let's add our email address. And once we're subscribed, you'll get a coupon code. Now after this, the next option is to connect to email service, which will help you maintain a database of all these emails and see a list of services to choose from. SendFox is built by the same team and is easy to use and affordable. So I'll choose that. Then we need to connect our Sumo account to SendFox. So let's click on SendFox. Click on the connect button, fill out the details like this and voila, you've now connected your Sumo account to SendFox. Now the SendFox bar will show the connected option in green. So go to a new browser, search SendFox, then open the sad box link, put in your login credentials and you will be logged into your SendFox account. Now it's time to test your email subscription form. So let's open our WordPress website and here you can see that the form is appearing. Now, if you add an email, you'll get a success notification like this. Now, let's go back and check our email and you'll see the automated email reply we created. Now, let me show you how to use Sumo to create an email campaign for your subscribers. So, go to your SendFox dashboard. There are options like emails, automation, lists and more. So, let's click on email, then click on create email. In this pop-up, you'll see the email format of your campaign. So let's customize the email according to your wants and needs. If you want to add images, 
click on the image icon here. In this pop-up, you can choose from the given images or click here to upload your own. Once you choose it, check everything one more time by clicking on the preview option. And you can see how the email will look both on phone and desktop screens. Once you finalize everything, then click on schedule or send option. It will lead you to another pop-up with two options. One is schedule sending, where you can put a designated time when you want the email to go out. And the second one is send now, where you can send the email immediately. So in our case, we are going to send the email immediately. So I'll click here and the email pop-up will be back. Is that easy? Now, let's say that you wanted to check the performance of your email campaigns. To see that, we can go back to our Sumo dashboard and click on forms. And you'll see the impressions along with the graph showcasing your growth. Then click on overview to see the number of new emails collected and the conversion rates. Scroll down and you'll see the latest subscriber activities. Then go back to overview and you can check any more details that you want from here. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later. So click here and I'll see you there.